on a biography of Fyodor Dostoevsky, the Russian writer. And the reason why is because um, one of our profound books in the Bible is the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is very frank and direct about the nature of life. Uh, this frankness and directness is really the reality that many people talk and think about uh, in the world of existentialism, which is really the philosophy that life does not have meaning. Or you just have to make it meaningful for yourself somehow. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it has no meaning. Uh, it's kind of like a, f a absurd joke. Uh, it's kind of like a game where you lose. It's like there's nothing. That there's nothing. It's all vain and empty. It's exactly what Ecclesiastes is saying. Existentialism is like a more of a, a modern philosophy from Kierkegaard and then the atheist Sartre and Nietzsche, um, who uh, just were saying God is dead. Nietzsche was saying God is dead. Uh, there isn't any meaning in, in it. And Dostoevsky said in his writings, essentially, as he had insight into people, that he understood that this is really how people, how it is. But he also found Christ. He found Christ uh, in a personal way. And um, uh, so uh, this is where life should go for us. And I just want to have, I want to read um, after this uh, short biography, we have this comment. Uh, given the depth of Fyodor's Christian faith, it is curious as so many atheists and agnostics throughout history have admired him as greatly as they have. How can that be? The answer lies perhaps in his no holds, bar no holds barred exploration of the human psyche. He refused to shrink from a frank and candid examination of humankind in its fallen, that is to say, normal condition. Let me put in here for a moment. In the world, uh, people aren't direct enough about reality. They are not, they, they don't want to admit it. As C.S. Lewis says, man can't look reality in the face. He doesn't want to. He wants to uh, pretend. And there is enough meaning in life, like on the surface of things, like there is satisfaction to have a job, to have a paycheck, to buy a car, to have a girlfriend, um, uh, to enjoy a sport, to have recreation. There are enough of those things. There are those things that lead us along. But in Ecclesiastes, it basically says, even though that is true, if you look more deeply, like what is the meaning of it? If there is no God, if there is no truth. So the, the um, evaluation of life that is stark reality leads us to a kind of a need, and we start looking for more. We start looking for God. And that's why Christ fits perfectly in the situation, which is, if you drink this water, you will never thirst. If you find me, you find the way, the truth, the life. If you come to me, your yoke is easy, your burden is light. Uh, we were just in Maine, uh, in where Pastor Stevens was born, where he grew up in that part of the country there. And we uh, did some door knocking in a trailer park and we did some soul winning. And we talked to people, they were very nice to talk to, we enjoyed it very much. And, uh, and uh, this really is um, where a lot of people are living 
They live from like one event to another, but inside carry the big question. So uh, this Russian writer was able to really uh, define with relationships with people and in the historical context of what he was saying, the need of the human heart to find that which is more deep and personal. So he says here, this uh, writer, uh, he gave full weight with compelling insight and passion to the arguments for human fortitude in the face of despair and seeming meaninglessness in life. At the same time, he, he gave eloquent voice to the cries of the human heart to know God. It was his dream unto the Russian people. It was his dream to unite the Russian people in love and Christian faith. That dream may yet be unrealized, but one thing is certain. Through his writings, Fyodor has given all the world lasting insights into the search for spiritual truth. I go to spread the tidings, he wrote in The Dream of a Ridiculous Man a few years before his death. I want to spread the tidings of what? Of the truth, for I have seen it, have seen it with my own eyes, have seen it in all its glory. He, he had found Christ, discovered him, as the as the answer uh, and that's what our ministry is is to bring the gospel lastly uh, being in that rural part of Maine uh, that area West Sumner um, um, Rumford Norway Maine Paris Maine um, we we uh, uh, we we saw people, we talked, we had tent meetings there, Gordon Colby, Pastor Ernest, they, what a great job they did. It was an absolutely fantastic time. And we considered that Dr. Stevens could have been a young man born in poverty, living his life, and could have just gone with the flow of the natural elements of life. But instead, he believed God, he sought for God, he found God, God found him, God saved him, motivated him at Worthley Pond, where he was a discouraged Christian, but God touched him, encouraged him, and said, start a Bible school, teach people grace, teach people to forgive, teach people faith, teach people prayer and send people into the world to share the message of Christ. This has happened. This has been done. Uh, 50 years of, of ministry and work has been going on since the Bible school started in 1972. And we can say, thank you, Lord, for another example of a man who lived by faith and found the real meaning of life, which is to know God Walk with God, find God, and be satisfied by the living God. Thank you, Lord. Read Psalm 49 today, if you like. It's a good psalm, kind of touches on a little bit of that, Psalm 49. God bless you. May God bless camp life, campers, and workers today. In Christ's name, amen. <music>